A garden is a place of embracing nature right into our hands. The love of gardening is a long process, but it does not limit to a specific individual, groups, or community. With the implementation of DepEd Memorandum No. 223 Series 2016 entitled Strengthening the Implementation of the Gulayan sa Paaralan Program in Public Elementary and Secondary Schools Nationwide, Labangan Elementary School has consistently been an advocate and implementer of this program. Last October 2019, a Nutri Garden project was established to help sustain the program in partnership with the East West Seeds Foundation. The foundation sponsors quality vegetable seeds and supplies the school with the needed gardening tools. It aims to promote vegetable production in the school campus to mitigate malnutrition, establish and maintain gardens as ready food bastion of vegetables, in sustaining supplementary feeding and inculcate among the teachers, parents, and learners the importance of gardening, good health and nutrition, love of labor, and caring for others. As an urban school, Labangan Elementary School utilizes recycled water containers for planting vegetables rich in protein and great sources of calories and vitamin A rich food such as malunggay, pechay, eggplant, sili, tomatoes, okra, pipino, batong, upo, and ampalaya using organic fertilizers. Our garden is protected using recycled steel mattings to secure the plants from stray animals, thus generating income which is used to purchase seeds of another plant variety, fertilizer, labor cost, other resources, and site maintenance. To supplement the traditional method of gardening, the school initiated the project The Ginot, which was launched last January 2022. The Ginot is a Cebuano term for conservation. It stands for Dagaiday alang sa gulay in saktong nutrisyon ang unahon para sa mga tinunan. This project aims to conserve water resources as part of our social and environmental responsibility. Aquaponics is the raising of tilapia and vegetables together in a symbiotic environment with the help of beneficial bacteria. It converts fish waste into nitrates, which becomes food for the plant and in return, the plant roots filter and clean the water for fish to live. This systematic process helps save water, time, and effort with the following benefits. Production of organic food, faster plant growth, year-round farming, two food sources, reduces the planet's carbon footprints, and economical. It has been observed that the harvest time for the plants utilizing aquaponics is earlier than the traditional way, so the vegetation can maximize its capacity to produce better yields at an earlier time. The Labangan Elementary School Gulayan sa Paaralan Project earned various recognition and appreciation. Visitors coming from other schools and institutions visited the school for determining the best practices in its effectiveness to implement the program. Gulayan sa Paaralan Project Coordinator Sunny C. Hernandez was recognized for his dedication to the school-based vegetable gardening project. The survival rate of the vegetables was affected due to pest, insects, fertility of the soil, and the amount of rainfall received by the plants. Despite these certain conditions that may affect the harvest of the plants, still the Gulayan Saparalan project produced better harvest. It can be seen through a decreased number of severely wasted and wasted pupils by the endline data of the school year 2019-2020 in comparison to the baseline data of the same school year. To keep the sustainability of the Gulayan Saparalan project, there is a budget allocation along with a school-based feeding program 
amounting to 58,500 pesos, as reflected in the School Improvement Plan of the school year 2019-2022. Gulayan sa Paaralan Project is integrated to the basic education curriculum requirements of the learners. Lesson plans and presentations about the Gulayan sa Paaralan were crafted by the teachers. Learners exhibit positive, cognitive, and behavioral developmental changes in adapting the project into their own homes. An increase in enrollment for the three consecutive years was observable. Through this Gulayan sa Paaralan, parents and pupils are more likely to enroll their children in Labangan Elementary School. Because of its aesthetic design, picturesque view that is conducive for learning, vast expanse of the green pasture, it creates a visually appealing impact to the learners. This program is regularly maintained and monitored for the whole school year in coordination with the volunteer parents and stakeholders. This project was successfully launched due to the consolidated efforts of various school personnel, stakeholders, community linkages, and other non-government organizations who donated resources for the improvement of the project, making it functional at its best. Our community partners express their sincerity to support the program, sustain its effectiveness to the health-related concerns of the learners thereby, making an enhanced school-based feeding program. This project incorporates the animal and plant products as a source of nutrition based in the Food Pyramid Guide. With the economic status of our community, this Labang Elementary School Gulayan sa Paralan project will greatly help as an alternative food source for wholesome development of the learners.